what have you heard from members of Cougar Pride with any of their questions or concerns? Yes. You know, people people have that, you know, we have to make it cleaner. Um, you know, the what what is the message? You know, I think and that's that that falls on the fall ultimately falls on me of what is the message? And we've been trying to figure out, you know, because really when you roll something out, is anything in life. You got one time. You get, you got you got one time to to put it out there. This is the charge, this is the actions, you know, that call to action piece, you, you can only be so loud so many times. And so we really got to really bring that into instead of having 10 to 15 priorities, make it two or three, make it simple. We got to simplify, you know, simplify our organization uh, a little more, um, you know, and, and, and people need to know, hey, where, where is where's the impact that I'm making? No matter what dollar amount you're giving, what is the impact? Because I think that's that's the piece that some people you know, they, they struggle with is, is my money just going down a black hole? You know, we had to explain it a little better. So what are your impressions of Mr. Eddie Nunez so far? Um, juice. I, I think one word juice. I and mean, he has been, you know, Eddie got off the plane uh, last Tuesday night, you know, jumped right into the press conference on Wednesday. And, um, you know, he's been high energy the whole time. You know, you know, some people step into, uh, especially leadership roles. First thing people go is, I'm drinking out of a fire hydrant. I'm drinking out of fire hose, right? And it, it's been, and he is taking, you know, he is taking this really with grace. Uh, I'm here to help. I'm, 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 I'm in it. I'm rolling my sleeves up and getting dirty with you guys. Not well, you know. Sometimes in transitions, you know how it is. You, you've seen people go, well, I'm just going to take my time. And it's probably going to take him some, I don't speak for him. It's probably going to take him some time to make some key decisions or, or probably put, you know, after he sees it goes on listening to a learning tour, however he wants to put it to actually put his strategic plan in place. But right now he is like, man, I'm rolling my sleeves up and getting down and getting dirty with you. I was, how can I help? How can I be of help to this organization right now? I think you have you had a new staffer yourself, right? Didn't someone join you recently? Yes, yes, uh, and that's going to be a part of the evolution of Cougar Pride as, as over the next couple of years. We grow into this thing. I uh, just hired Allie White. Um, Allie uh, joined us from Tulane, um, where she was an assistant AD of Major Gifts there, and she'll be an associate AD of Major Gifts here. And she's going to kind of over she's going to oversee not kind of our Major Gift fundraising strategy, and and really really hitting the ground running when it comes to us continuing to evolve as a, you know, with major gift fundraising. Um, that was, it was actually a very fun search. We had some great candidates. It was a true national search. When I look at, you know, we had candidates from Northeast, West coast, you know, South. I mean, they were from everywhere. And so this was, this was, you know, we landed on Allie and think she's going to be great. She very versatile. Uh, before Tulane, she was at Cal Berkeley. Uh, that, that, you know, people go, Alvin, I know you you were biased. You hired someone for Tulane because of Coach Fritz. Now that did help. Um, sure. because she knows Coach Fritz. She knows really, you know, his the mantra that he has and you know how he does things. But the Cal Berkeley situation really stood out to me because if you're familiar with Cal, they have so many sports. Yes. And they do the kind of what people go with with us with Cougar Pride. You have the sport specific giving when he talks about dugout club 50 50. And Cal is structured the same way. And so I that that was really stood up. Someone who has experience with the same, you know, structure. And they have the say they had traditionally the same challenges from a budgetary standpoint in their league. Mm -hmm. So that that was what really stood out to me. 